One thing about life, you see jealousy. There is nothing jealousy cannot do. Jealousy, I be mean jealousy, can make you do things that when you turn back like this and look at what you've done, you will so regret all your actions. You'll be like, oh, how, as in, what have I done? Had I known? So je uh, jealousy, I be mean jealousy, normally comes with this how um um had i known uh stigma i'll be waiting yes it will always come with that hello my country people and welcome back again to my youtube channel how are you all doing today i hope so on a day okay my country people on the palace matter now we still day so right now uh what is happening in the palace of Ilefe kingdom though i don't believe them again because today they will come out to apologize tomorrow they will do the worst so on top of internet we've heard that olori temi talk me that she do already uh go down on her knees to beg Kabiesi to plead with Kabiesi's father and to plead with Kabiesi's stepmom. Um, it took her so long for her to do this. For her to gather everybody in the palace to kneel down before them, she made this plan. In fact, this was not a plan. <laughs> it's not something that she planned that day. I think she has been planning this for a whole month or two months because you know them now. What to go agree they made them be loyal. So, but anyway, even while kneeling down, we know Kukuma trusts them because they can, you can wake up tomorrow morning and hear that they don't already do the worst. So, <laughs> the apologies at this point, you know, they move me. You know, they move people like me. Yes, yeah, so. So, my country people, we've heard allegedly on top internet that Olori Temitope, she went down on her knees. Uh, uh, it started like uh, like this. She called uh, the palace for a meeting. Let's say she called the palace meeting. Both the Oloris, everybody, even the staffs, and every other person in the palace of Ilefe Kingdom, they came down to Kabi uh, uh will I say, living room or sort of living room room yeah i'll be the palace gogo where they used to make uh, do meetings so she called all of them you know that place where kabi is if kabi is doing something all of them people will be there uh, that is like hall so you know it's very big it's large it can, it can contain a lot of people so she called them in there everybody was seated properly seated so my countrywoman started according to what we hear on top internet so she started with uh will i say she started by crying yes she was shedding tears and was praising kabi ac saying how good kabi ac had been to her how faithful kabi ac already in fact she said a whole lot of things according to what we heard but their praises to kabi ac as you take me right now you know they move us again because tomorrow we're not gonna do another one so it was during the time that she was praising kabi ac she also praised her father-in-law praised everybody Everybody, her stepmother-in-law, all the people there, the stars, everybody. So she started with apologizing to them, telling them that she's so, so sorry of all the water water baskets that she has been causing in the palace of Ilefe Kingdom. That she went to the CCTV, this thing, uh, five record or something, I've forgotten what was in the record. So she went there and was just, uh, as in going through the videos, as in everything that happened, she wanted to find out something, so that was the reason why she was going through uh, the the past uh, as in uh, films. I'll be waiting. Yes, then she found out how fast so many things. How she had talked to Kabi AC, how she treated the staff in the past few months, how she did this, how she did that. According to her, she tagged it hormone uh, something that uh, yeah, women used to have this uh, hormone stuff that women their hormone used to play play tricks on them what did they call that is it, it's not hormonal imbalance a uh hair -huh, mood swing I've, I've remembered so she called it she termed what is happening to her mood swing she told kabi that she is not like that she was never like that and she's not going to be like that that it was just mood swings and things happening around the palace that always make her to do what she does okay so she was like apologizing to Kabi Esi that she will not do it again. Kabi Esi Kukuma told her that, see, your apologies at this time, you know, they move me again. The only apology where you go give to me right now is to tell me that you are leaving the palace of Ilefe. Just leave my palace. That's the only apology. I will now know that, yes, so this apology is coming right from your heart. You cannot be giving me gospels and you tell me that you are apologizing. I'm not going to take it. So you better start talking, you know, why are you doing those things where you do inside the palace of Ilefe Kingdom? So Kabi Esi changed them for country woman, my country people. It was alleged that kbsc was like if you are not ready to spill it then your apology is not from your heart so she started uh saying that uh, she's so jealous of olori naomi in fact she was like telling everybody how will you feel as a woman you are in someone someone's house and the person is thinking about another lady the, uh, uh, 
Now that place, the blogger Rich, I was like, what is wrong with these women? Which one is your husband is thinking about another woman? Abina, you can't distract the man. We are him and the wife, they, they enjoy themselves. So she was like, she was so jealous that uh, Kabiesi will be with her and daughter Oloris and still be thinking about Olori Naomi. So according to her, all of them, they are not against polygamy. They are ready to grab it with their full chest. Just that Kabiesi, in fact, Kabiesi not even want to give them the opportunity. So, so they were so angry that Kabiesi is not giving them the opportunity to make it right. That Kabiesi will always talk about Olori Naomi this, Olori Naomi that, that everything... Even she made reference with the birthday that they did for Kabiesi. She was like, upon everything we did that day to celebrate Kabiesi, to make him feel special. He still talked about Olori Naomi, saying that Olori Naomi during their own time, the time that Olori Naomi celebrated the birthday, that, birthday, that Olori Naomi threw a surprise birthday for him. To, for him. Mm -hmm. And another one that all all in all over Naomi you know, guys for him. So she, he was busy picking things that all over Naomi do already do to him. So she was like, those things will always get to us, uh, and we will not control it again, and we let our anger overcome us. Hey, <laughs> these women self, your anger uh, overcome you as in waiting. Queen Naomi is the ones as in we are supposed to be hearing this from all over Naomi. It's only in Naomi that we are supposed to be hearing that, oh, she got so jealous or, oh, she got so angry that you poor, you poor are taking her man away from her. He, it would have been better, but this one, the person that you people are as in persecuting right now, that's how I'm going to put it. The person that you people are, are, are maltreating, showing chege, giving water to basketball, she's not complaining. Then you, you are complaining. You welcome, in fact, you, you came into the palace to destroy everything. Everything that Olori Naomi and uh, uh, Kabi AC built together, you destroyed all. And you are, you are here, you are uh, 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 forming the victim or something. Hmm. These women, they cannot, in fact, every day they will keep on bringing new water. They cannot stop. Is in the, even when they want to apologize, even, even when you are seeing them, they are kneeling down to apologize. You still see that they are making reference to something that will make you angry, to something that will provoke you. If you want to apologize, come with a clean heart. It's not you are uh, apologizing and the other heart of you, as in you are saying, Oh, I'm sorry for what I've done. But your inner self is saying, If I catch all of you, I will so deal with that. That is not apology. So how do you expect Kabiesi to forgive you or how do you expect God? Anyway, we are not God, Sha. I'm not going to uh, talk for God. It's God that knows how he will forgive. But how how, how will Kabiesi forgive them? You want Kabiesi to forgive you and you know that you people are fighting on Lomi Naomi. That Kabiesi is against it. Then you want Kabiesi to forgive you for all the wrongs where you do already do to Olori Naomi. In front of the man where you won't make him forgive you because of Olori Naomi like this. So you are still there planning on what you will do to that person. Will make the man angry over you. Uh -uh. No, na. No, you poor. At times when you poor are behaving like this, it could just be like say, you poor are not. <laughs> you poor. In fact, at, at this point, I've seen the handwriting on the wall. And I, I, the, in fact, the way I'm feeling now, it shows that God is on this god is just on this because <laughs> it's god that will just you see when you are running and somebody will come and put stud for you that is what god is doing to them now they want to come and apologize to kabiesi because kabiesi is an emotional being kabiesi will now be like oh she has apologized oh i'm going to forgive her all this all that then god will come in and just put stud for her and immediately god put that stuff for her she will start Talking about, if I was, she would just be going off point again. She would start saying that, oh, I'll deal with all Louis Naomi, all oh, this, all oh, that. Okay. You are not apologizing with clean hearts. So, my country people, I saw this alleged information on top internet. I decided to bring it to you. What do you think about it? Let me know about it under the comment section. I'll see you soon in my next upload. Thank you and God bless you. Bye bye.